because you are one third of the world's top rugby podcast and a lot of my listeners are rugby as I get myself off the ground here. So you got yourself on the rugby pod, your mate was in London, saw you saw you drunk drunkenly commentating on games. Like you said, you didn't know who Andy Good and Jim were. What was that first episode like when you all sat down to record that? Oh, it was it was all right. It was like um it was like I, I had I had all the you know, we prepped the show I'd already prepped the show. Um I had people prep the show for um, with me um so we knew what we wanted to talk about uh it was I, I, i've never gone back and listened to it i imagine it would be quite awkward um but it was the episode where um jim just started telling the story about rabbit gate and about the um yeah. scotland's world cup training and um uh, uh when they i think they were in france they were somewhere anyway and they're climbing up a mountain and then they had to kill some rabbits and um, anyway, it got into the front page of the um, Scotland <laughs> Herald or whatever, what it was, Scotland uh, Sunday Times or whatever it was, and um, that's kind of what launched the podcast. So I think like the key um, with those guys is that they are both great speakers. So um, mm-hmm. whenever you're around them, or whenever I'm working with them, I, I know not much is expected of me as far as talking. I know I'm just there to make sure the next thing happens and, and that we kind of keep on moving forward. So, but I'm always like, you know, I learned pretty quickly in that first episode that these guys can talk. It's like, yeah, it isn't going to be a problem. Um, we're not going to have any dead air. Uh, they, you know, both smart dudes, both clever, funny guys with good knowledge on rugby. So, um, and that, uh, yeah, that's the, you know, that's why the rugby players is, so well known is because yeah. they are pros and they're both very very good at it um so that's um yeah you know, the first episode yeah you know, i don't i never felt like it was awkward or weird but um i imagine it probably was looking back on it com- comparing it to where we are now but um they were they were both great i, I just remember jim telling his rabbit story and just like what is going on here yeah that was good how, so when you, like you say, when you talk to German, they just come out with all these stories. Has there ever been a case where you've just kind of been like, surely that can't be true? Like you've just like sort of covered the mic and be like, right, pause the recording. Like, are you are you talking out your arse here, or are you just genuinely telling the truth? Like, is there anything that's ever uh, been like, yeah. bullshit, Jim? <laughs> oh, well, there's there's been loads, but we've never <laughs> stopped. We just let them keep going because often with Jim's stories, it's better than the truth. <laughs> it's just when you're caught up in them sometimes and you're like i was there i was involved in that and that that, that never happened <laughs> and like that's not that's not what happened but you just you strap yourself in and you you just listen to the story and and know that like actually his version is better than the real version because he's <laughs> such a good storyteller and you know i was caught up in that when we're you know <laughs> when we're, uh, we were over in new zealand for the lions tour and um i was sleeping on this like fold out bed and 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 jim and jim came up and we all had jet lag so we were waking up at like three in the morning four in the morning jim came into the living room and i'm lying there um eating uh, um eating some these they're called the snacks in new zealand so like these biscuits that you can dip into like this really gooey cheese so good uh i was sitting there i was like chewing on like eating, eating those and um uh there was the next thing you know when he's telling the story is that i was um lying there eating cat food and like <laughs> and the, the the way that he's told the story was so much more funnier than the true story it's just like oh, yeah well, this is good everyone's yeah. laughing let it go it's good <laughs> but there's so many instances where you just like how's he how has he so quickly turned this into such a brilliant story mm-hmm. um, he's very 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 good at it and it's it's, it's good it's, it's it's really impressive to watch like it blows your mind how quickly he can turn a normal chat a normal everyday occurrence into something so funny and so outrageous he just knows which bits to just judge up at the right times he's yeah it's, it's always it's always a bit of fun i know i think he's dead did you see if he became like a scottish talk show host like if he became his own version of the graham norton I think it'd be the most must-see telly in the UK. Because like you say, he can, he can take a boring <laughs> sentence of you going, 
I had jet lag and I was eating crackers at 3 a.m. And next thing you know, you've got like a running joke that's over 200 episodes long and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's that's Jim. Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's a bit of a genius in that respect. I know. I, exactly. I say, I was discussing this with my mate Bruce the other day. He does the Happinesses podcast. Just advertising every podcast on my own, but it's, it's really good if you ever want to listen. Jim's done an episode. Jim's done, if you want an example of a brilliant story that's not that good a story, but made a good story, Jim's on that. And he talks about how he went to the World Cup with Alan Jacobson. If you, I don't know if you remember Alan Jacobson, the little Scottish oh, prop. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they talk yeah. about how they room, they room together. So you can imagine those two iconic Scottish rugby characters rooming together. And it's it's a it's yeah, a bit yeah. non it's a non-stop fifteen minute just try not to laugh with your headphones in and look like a weirdo in a public place. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's fun. Like, yeah, I've heard that story as well. When it's like, yeah. When, came back drunk and you know playing the game of his life or something like that but yeah no it's it, it's you're exactly right like you can just you can tell an amazing story yeah.